Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. And you'll never have a hater that's doing better than you. Always know that. Don't get off the wall to dress some pity any ass boy who ain't got shit going for himself. Now you done stopped your climb up on the wall so you can come down here and talk to his little punk ass. Don't do that, man. I, 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 I stay away from it. Now, do I want to? Yes. Because I'm a human being. And I'm hood. I used to be a fighter. And I still got hands. They slow. But if you get up on me real close, I can still knock your monkey ass out. I just don't have the quickness I have. But I still know how to turn my hip and shift that weight. And I'll knock your short ass out. I'll shoot your perm straight out your head. Wow, wow. Hey, man. Uh, Check it, man. Seven months later, eight, seven, eight, eight ish, almost eight months later, Steve Harvey uh, decides to uh, speak, and he didn't say Cat Williams' name, but boy, I'm telling you, hit you in your in your perm, shoot out on the side. I get down where you low at, and you know it definitely seems like he's describing Cat Williams. You guys get in the comments, let me know if he's you think he's talking about Cat Williams. But at any rate, he is really, really uh, going in when it comes down to, you know, he still got it if you want to get some, you know. Why did it take Steve Harvey so long to uh, respond? That's something that, you know, you have to ask yourself because Cat Williams, when he did this, it was the first of the year. So at the end of the day, when you start to look at what can happen when it comes down to this comedy world and these podcasts and people saying what it does affects others. So I know he really probably it, it probably bothered him when when uh, you know Cat Williams spoke and responded to him. Um, what you think about that reality TV? I got reality TV uh, in. What, what you think? I just could never take a comedian serious. I don't care what they say. <laughs> well, you don't think he that that hurt his feelings. <laughs> I, I feel like people feelings only really like get hurt when sometimes it be true. Okay, well, let, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let, let's listen and see what what Cat There's Williams. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Let me I'm gonna. I, I want to play this part. Let's see what Cat Williams had to say that made this happen. Okay, here we go. I went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good or became it and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know, I don't know Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got I'm not feeling about it all. Wow. So there you have it, reality TV. That's what caused it. I mean, you, what you said might be true. You know, maybe there's the truth in that, that, that because Mr. Cooper was first and then you did have Steve Harvey's show. And, and then, and then you know, the movie, he didn't want to be in a movie and he does play similar roles in movies. He plays himself and think like a man. Uh, he also played, you know, on, uh, I think it uh, Love Don't Cost a Thing He's pretty similar to the same character But I love Steve Harvey I love to see him get on his uh, Whip foot uh, Both of them dope All these dudes are talented super, That's what makes it so funny You know That's why, I would, that's why it's hard to take a comedian serious Because I would laugh at everything that was funny to me. Both of them are hilarious. What what Steve just said on stage, sitting in that chair, man. When he ta that that was funny. He said he hit him, and then his perm would shoot out on the other side. <laughs> these dudes is crazy. What what were they friends? And maybe he felt something personal. Well, I'm gonna tell you what I heard through the grapevine through another comedian who said that he confided that cat confided in uh, him and said that his kids was with him and he. Asked his kid. Yeah, he said, well, no, this is something that he did on another podcast. So he said that basically, I think it was a Pierre podcast, that Steve 
basically asked could his kids take pictures with Steve and Steve said um, Steve pretty, pretty much didn't, I don't know, he said he was Cat Williams' kids and some kind of way Steve got kind of disrespected who Cat Williams was early in his career is what it seemed I've heard. Now that's allegedly. I don't know it to be fact, but this is what. You know, it's always some deep stuff to this. That's why I said, because what he said, it was more of like a comedian. You know, it didn't, that's why I said, is, is it personal? Because that just sounded like any kind of type of comedian joke that Cat Williams would do. That's what he do. Yeah, but yeah, but Cat Williams, uh, Cat Williams, pretty hard on OBKB. You know that stuff is that that stuff definitely uh, can can have you. But what did Steve do? He just did the same thing in, in reverse. He just basically clapped back a little bit. So either way, I'm with it. It's it's just clapbacks. You know, at the end of the day, in the actual rhythm. Do you think that this was a response to Cat Williams? I ain't in it, but <laughs> when Steve said what he said about hitting somebody in the stomach and they perm shooting poof on the other side and he was short, do you think he's talking? I know that word perm. That's the only community I know that word perm. <laughs> and, and somebody that has talked about him or said something, he wanted to say something, but he didn't say nothing. Now we come seven, eight months later and he give you the boom, boom, boom. This is what I was feeling. This is what I was thinking. I, it really sounds very similar to Cat Williams. I love Uncle Steve, but Uncle Steve, now if Cat Williams come back and say something. Well, I mean, like I said, he definitely, uh, you know, they had a whole comedy standoff one night. I remember years ago where they both went in on each other. Well, I think Cat came out after Steve had performed and went in, you know. It's just they've had a long history of having disagreements and issues with each other for some odd reason. And I think it's a competitive ego. Yeah, that's a man. That's what y'all do. Well, women do it too. They look each other up and down every time they see each other and don't say nothing about what they were wearing sometimes. Women are very, very shy. So, no, that's, that's more of an envious trait. That's envy. Well, I'll, I think Steve Harvey is one of the greatest. I think Cat Williams is one of the greatest to do this. And, and both of them are, are, are legends when it comes down to comedy. I'm not going to say Steve's not a legend because Steve held it down. Steve started it early. Cat, he started it early. These guys are legends in there in this time, and and they gonna have their ups and downs, and people gonna say what they gonna say. But I'm rocking with them, man. And, and like I said, I'm uh, either either one of them. Yeah, I love to interview either one of them. Yeah, I I, I seen some dope stuff that Steve did for uh, 85 South, uh, DC Young, Fly Nim early on, um, uh, Carlos Miller, and. Uh, Chico Bean, I see that stuff. I see Cat Cat Williams have pulled up and did some tre some tremendous things for certain people. So I definitely know that both of them are giving and showing these younger comedians the the you know that they that they who they they are who they are, but they don't stand for no clown nothing. They gonna come and let you know how it is the way they do it. So. Man, get in the comments. Let us know. What do you think about this? Uh, was this a response to Cat Williams? Let us know right now in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Watch. Keep on watching the channel. Hey, man. Boss Talk 101 Reviews. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.